All right, so let's talk about Trouton's Rule. We have seen a version of this equation before when we were trying to figure out our equation for delta G. Um, this delta S equals delta H over a temperature. Um, so this particular equation can also be applied to vaporization. So what this really means is the change in entropy um, when a substance vaporizes is e going to be equal to the change in enthalpy um, that the substance sees when it vaporizes, so like the delta H of vaporization, over the temperature that it vaporizes at, which is basically the boiling point of that substance. So we're talking about liquids basically, okay? So Troughton's rule is basically saying that for most liquids, okay? So for most liquids, Troughton's rule is saying that this delta S of vaporization is actually around approximately 88 joules per mole of that liquid, okay? So it's basically saying for most liquids, for most liquids, for most liquids, sorry kids, the baby's sleepy, so. Um, okay, so Trouton's rule is saying that for most liquids, the delta S of vaporization is approximately 88 joules per mole. So that means when a liquid goes from its liquid phase to into its gas phase, when it's vaporizing, that change in entropy you're going to see is about 88 joules per mole, okay? So um, this applies to pretty much most liquids other than liquids that actually have hydrogen bonding. So if you think of water, water has hydrogen bonding. Because water has hydrogen bonding, the delta S of vaporization is going to be larger than 88 joules per mole because in its liquid state, water is going to have a lower number of microstates than most liquids because, or any liquid that hydrogen bonds is going to have a lower number of microstates than other liquids that don't hydrogen bond because of the um, existence of more um, order or less entropy, okay? So water is more ordered, for example, than other liquids um, in its liquid form because of that hydrogen bonds existing. And when water boils and goes into its gaseous phase, because all those hydrogen bonds have now been broken, the change in entropy is going to be much larger. So if you're going from a super, like for example, if you're going from a super ordered room, um, right? Like very neat, very clean room, and you like go and like you totally mess it up, that change in its state is huge, right? But if you're going from like already kind of like a disorganized room to just more messy room, that change is not that great, right? So the more ordered you are, the greater your delta S is going to be. So because water and other liquids that hydrogen bond, in it, because of their hydrogen bonding, um, have le lower number of microstates um, and lower ways that it can be um, when it vaporizes and all those interactions and all those intermolecular attractions are broken and now they're completely chaotic in its gaseous form, that change in S is like much larger. So this applies for most liquids and liquids that do not hydrogen bond, okay? So if it's a liquid that doesn't hydrogen bond and you learn a lot more about hydrogen bonding coming up, if it's a liquid that doesn't hydrogen bond, you can use this rule, Trouton's rule, okay, to solve problems. So that's what Trouton's rule is basically. Now, um, let's go and solve those three problems in the worksheet. Uh, da, da, da. Is it this one? Is it this, this one? All right. So um, I did all of the problems other than these three problems. So let's go through these problems together, okay? So first problem says, calculate the normal boiling point of ammonia. So this one is not really Trouton's law uh, or Trouton's rule, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys remember what a normal boiling point is. It's basically the boiling point at one atmosphere of pressure. That's what the normal boiling point is, okay? So when we're saying that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, that is the normal boiling point of water because at one atmosphere, it boils at 100 
100 degrees Celsius. But when the temperature, uh, what, when the elevation changes and the atmospheric pressure changes, the boiling point of water is going to change. Okay, so normal boiling point always means at one atm. Um, so this problem says um, the normal boiling point of ammonia um, when this ammonia is vaporizing, right? So this is a phase change, okay? This is not Froden's rule. You can just use your regular equation of delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. So they've given you delta H and delta S actually, and they want you to calculate um, the boiling point, right? So the boiling point is the temperature and at boiling point, um, you have the liquid and the gaseous states that are at equilibrium because it's starting to boil now. You have some liquid, you have some gas, but they're at equilibrium with each other, which means at equilibrium, delta G is going to be zero, okay? So that's why they gave you the delta H and the delta S, but at equilibrium, delta G, at any kind of phase change, delta G is going to be zero. So delta G is zero, so you just write zero equals delta H is 23.3 kilojoules per mole. Don't forget to change your delta S into kilojoules, which is going to be 0 0.0972 kilo, uh, kilojoules per mole Kelvin. And um, you can solve for your T. When I solve for T, I got 239.7 Kelvin, or you convert that to Celsius, you should get negative 33.4 degrees Celsius, okay? So whenever you have to solve for the boil normal boiling point of any substance, set the delta G to zero or freezing point, okay? Those are all phases changes. Um, set the delta G to zero and use the delta H and the delta S. That's how you solve those. At equilibrium, delta G is going to be zero for because there is no change in free energy um, when a system is at equilibrium, okay? So three and four are Troughton's rule uh, problems, so let's do those. We know that Troughton's rule is the delta um, S of vaporization is equal to the delta H of vaporization over the temperature at which a substance boils, which is the boiling point. So it says determine the entropy of vaporization for ethanol, given that it has a normal boiling point of 78.4 and an enthalpy of vaporization. Does this liquid obey Troughton's rule? So look at ethanol. Ethanol is a liquid that hydrogen bonds, right? So if you solve for ethanol, the delta H of vaporization is 38.6 kilojoules per mole. And the temperature that they have given us is 351.4 um, Kelvin. That's going to give us 0 0.1098 kilojoules per mole Kelvin um, as your answer, okay? If you turn that into, um, if you round that and turn that into joules per mole Kelvin for entropy, because entropy has to be in units of joules, um, that's going to be 110 joules per mole Kelvin. I just rounded it, okay? So 110 is much greater than 88, right? So the reason that it does not follow Trouton's rule, does not follow Trouton, Trouton's rule, because ethanol can hydrogen bond. Ethanol hydrogen bonds. And therefore, the delta S is greater. So like you're going from a much more ordered liquid state to a gaseous state, then most liquids don't have that kind of order, okay? Because most liquids do not hydrogen bond. And if you're like, I don't know what a hydrogen bond is, I'm so confused, how do you know that ethanol hydrogen bonds? It's because of the structure of ethanol. You'll remember, hopefully from Honors Chem, that ethanol's Lewis structure looks like this. It has a oxygen and a hydrogen. So this hydrogen is able to hydrogen bond with other ethanol molecules. And if you're still like, uh, hydrogen bonding is, I don't know how to do that. 
I'm going to teach you. It's coming up in chapter eight, so not a big deal. But this is why um, this is why it doesn't work for ethanol. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay. So liquids that hydrogen bonds do not follow the Taubman's rule. So let's do the next one. The delta H of vaporization of octane equals 34.4 kilojoules per mole. Approximate the normal boiling point of octane in degrees Celsius, assuming that this substance obeys Troughton's rule. So we're just solving for the boiling point. Sorry, kids, it's nap time and she knows I'm here. So I, I'm just gonna finish the video anyway, okay? So 34.4 kilojoules per mole, um, even though she's crying. Um, okay, because if I, sorry, all right. So we are looking at um, entropy that is um, 88 joules per mole, um, right? For um, joules per mole Kelvin for your um, delta S because that's what Trouton's rule says, right? So, um, Let's turn that into kilojoules. So we should get 0 0.088 kilojoules per mole Kelvin. And um, that will give us, if I resolve this, that'll give us 390 Kelvin. And if you turn that into degrees Celsius, um, you'll get 117 degrees Celsius, okay? So you can estimate the boiling point of a liquid, the normal boiling point of a liquid, if you use uh, Trouton's rule. So even though they only give you the delta H of vaporization, because you know octane is a liquid that doesn't, a hydrogen bond and it follows Trouton's rule, you can assume that you know the delta S of vaporization approximately, and you can, um, figure out what the temperature is, okay? So the delta S of vaporization for things that follow Trouton's rule is approximately, oops, I just became a blur, is approximately 88 um, joules per mole Kelvin. 